are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, guess what? Christmas is just a few short weeks away. I know, right? It just kind of has that way of creeping up on us and then it's here. For me, that means that I'm gonna start shifting gears from decorating to DIYing some gifts. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what you can do with a candle. These candles, you can get them just about anywhere. This is one that I got at Costco. They're very um, similar in size and shape to the candles that you can get at Bath & Body Works, to candles you can get at Walmart. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to shush up a candle like this. Yeah, shush it up. Take it from being just a candle to a decor piece and a candle gift idea that somebody is absolutely gonna love. These DIY candle gift ideas are so stinking cute. I can hardly stand it. I am bringing to you six of them. And these are gift ideas you are not gonna wanna miss using, yeah, a $5 candle. Or if you're going to Bath & Body Works, it's 10. You choose, but nonetheless, it's still a budget-friendly gift idea, and I'm gonna show you how stinking cute these turn out once I'm done DIYing them. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some DIYing gifting style on a budget, because that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Getting started. If you want to use the candles I'm using today, these are them. It's a four pack. You can find it at Costco, $19.99. Break it down, that's $5 a candle. You can't beat that. These are a nice two wick candle and they come with four different scents. For this first DIY, I'm gonna start off with this thicker jute cord. You can get this at Walmart. You're gonna pay about $4 for a two pound, I guess, bundle. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. And I'm gonna wrap the jar itself with this jute cord. Using some hot glue just to keep the cord from slipping, keep it in place. And for the lid, I'm gonna use a sponge dabber because you're gonna get full thick coverage on the first coat and it's gonna add a bit of texture. The color I'm using today is Apple Barrel's Chocolate Sprinkle, my favorite new brown. Dollar Tree, they've got Scrabble tiles. Amazing, you're getting one of each letter per pack. So for this, I decided to go with a Christmas word, Noel. I'm gonna glue these onto some of that thicker jute cord and this is gonna hang on the candle kind of like a garland. Yeah, it is a garland, not kind of like, it is a garland. I wanted to add just a pop of color to this rustic candle that I'm making, so I figured some red twine bows would be perfect on each ends of the garland. I was kind of thinking to myself, self, I feel like my rustic candle needs a bead hanger. I liked the look of it or the idea of it. So taking some of the square beads from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to size. I'm gonna use the same string that the beads are strung on because it is a nice heavy duty strand. Once I've got it to size, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a bit of hot glue to the beads themselves and just hot glue it to the lid. Now you're still gonna have the capability of taking the lid on and off. You're just gonna have to be a bit careful with it. Quick, easy, and look at the outcome of this candle. For this next candle, no, actually the next few candles, I'll be using some of this all-purpose caulking. You can get this at Dollar Tree. It's by Toolbench in the tool section. This is a hack that I've shown a few times before on my channel of how you can make your own textured paint or puffy paint. So by taking some of the caulking, I'm gonna add just a bit of paint to it. You can really add any color paint and even though the caulking is white, it is not going to lighten or discolor your acrylic paint. Fun fact there, right? It's just gonna thicken it up and it's going to add that bubbly texture to it that I love. 
When applying my mixture to my jar, I'm gonna use a sponge because like I've said before, you're gonna get a nice thick full coverage in one coat. I am going to be generous with the amount of paint and caulking that I add because I want to add a bit more texture to this jar because of the jar that it's going to be. Now because there is caulking in this, it's going to take a bit more time to dry than if you're just using a regular acrylic paint because the caulking needs to dry. So I say use your favorite drying method and help speed up the process. And for the lid, I added caulking to the chocolate sprinkles because I really want this to have good texture. And I added a bit more caulking to the paint than I did, well, the brown paint, than I did with the white paint because, spoiler alert, I'm gonna tell you what I'm making. I am making a s'more out of this candle and the lid itself is supposed to be the melted chocolate bar. So I wanna give the illusion that the chocolate is nice and thick and melted. And so, yeah, again, you're gonna to wanna to be generous with the amount that you put on the lid as well to give that effect. It's already looking so cute, but this is gonna be cuter because our marshmallow needs a face. And so I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna overthink it. Don't be intimidated when doing this. If you feel like you need to use a pencil to draw it out first, I say go for it. This is a very basic face that I feel like really you can't go wrong with. And so just kind of follow along with me as I do it. When I add facial features to pieces like this, I like to use puffy paint. I feel like puffy paint is easier than using a paintbrush. And not only is it easier, but you're going to add texture, personality, and dimension to this piece. For the graham cracker part of my s'more, my s'more candle, I'm using some of Dollar Tree's square planks. They are the perfect size for these candles. And again, I did add some of the caulking to Apple Barrel's classic caramel, which seems to be the perfect brown for a graham cracker. Going in with some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of all that stain. Yep, my absolute favorite means of adding some detailing and distressing. And so to my graham cracker, I'm going to add a bit of detailing to make it look like a toasted graham cracker. And I can easily do that with a Distress Ink. I'm going to do that to the top graham cracker and the bottom. Oh my word, I can't stand it. This is the cutest s'mores candle I think I've ever seen. For this next candle, you're gonna wanna pick up a fat quarter from Dollar Tree or dig in your stash for one. This flannel one was the perfect style, I feel like, for this. The base of the jar, I did go ahead and give it a nice good coating of that white puffy paint that I made with the caulking. And to the lid, I'm gonna wrap the lid with this red flannel fat quarter. Now, when wrapping the lid, you're gonna wanna glue that fabric onto the lid so you still have the capability of taking the lid on and off. Once I've got it wrapped fully, I'm gonna take some of that thicker jute cord and I'm gonna tie it there up at the top, making a beanie. A beanie for what's gonna be our snowman. And again, I'm gonna go in with my puffy paint and add some fun facial features and really bring this snowman to life. It's cold outside. Frosty needs some rosy cheeks. I like to add those rosy cheeks by using a color pastel and a paintbrush. This is a color pastel you see right off to the side by Crayola that I dug into Allie's stash for. Dollar Tree has color pastels by Crafter Square in the art section, so I say definitely pick them up because it's an easy way to add those soft rosy cheeks to, I guess, a piece without using paint. And don't forget to go in with some white puffy paint and add some highlights because it's really gonna bring your character to life. For this next candle, I am going in again with that classic caramel acrylic paint by Apple Barrel and it too is mixed with the caulking. So I'm gonna give this 
jar a nice good coating of that adding just a bit of that texture but not too much and for the lid of this candle i did go in and put a light coat with that textured chocolate sprinkles paint for the face it couldn't get any easier using my puffy paint i'm just going to add a couple of eyes and i dug into my stash and got a red pom-pom out for the nose so cute I'm going to be using three chocolate brown pipe cleaners for this reindeer's antlers. And so just by taking the three of the pipe cleaners, folding it in half and kind of twisting, I guess, the wires together, you can form your antlers to look however you want them to look. And with a bit of hot glue, I'm just going to glue them here to the top. And would you look at how stinking cute this reindeer candle is. Quick, easy, and adorable this next one you can really get creative with and have fun I'm gonna stick with the rustic feel of it so to this jar it's gonna get a good coating of some of Waverly's crimson and I did add a bit of caulking to this just for texture and for the lid I'm going in with Waverly's ink This is where I decided to shift gears. Truth be told, I thought I was going to go one route with this lid or this DIY, and I decided to go another route. So you really don't have to paint the lid if you don't want to. I prefer to paint it because I am going to be wrapping it with some burlap, and burlap is see-through, so yeah, why not paint it? And again, like I did with the snowman, I'm going to tie the top off with some of the thicker jute cord, now with this DIY, I really wasn't sure which way I was going. Was I going the route of Santa's toy bag or was I just going the route of a rustic Santa with a burlap hat? I don't know, you choose. But when I was done in the end, I decided that I wanted to add some of these wood buttons and kind of make it a combination of them both. Because why not? It's my DIY, I'm getting creative. That's what I say about DIYing. I'm just bringing you the idea of the DIY. It's up to you to take what you like and leave what you don't and get creative and make it your own. I love this rustic Santa. Santa, rustic Santa, or bag. Yeah, you choose. For this last DIY, candle DIY, I wanted to go the more traditional snowman route and so with that I am going in with some of Waverly's black ink and it does have a bit of caulking in it for texture. I wanted to put a bit of a different face or show you a different face. Now this face is super easy. It really is just kind of an upside down parenthesis for the eyes. We all know how to do those, right? So don't overthink it. And if again you need to go in with a pencil and draw it out first you can easily do that so if you mess up you can either erase it or just paint right over it until you get the face that you like the traditional frosty has a top hat you can easily make that using dollar trees wood planks I'm using a combination of the rectangle planks and the square. The rectangle one, this was one that I had in my scraps from, goodness, I don't know what I used it for, but I knew that it was the perfect size to put on the top of the square plank to make the top hat. I am, I'm sticking with the rustic route and for the, I guess, the fabric decorative ribbon that goes on the top hat, I'm using some burlap. I'm just gonna hot glue this piece right to the center of this piece here, just like so. Yep, there we go, look at that. And yep, it's gonna go right here on top, still giving us the capability of taking on and off the lid. I felt like it was missing something, it was a bit too plain, so taking some of this greenery that I had left over from our ornament making night here at the house, I figured I'd glue just a bit of that onto Frosty's hat, add some berries, and with that, there we go, we are finished. So stinking cute, right? Go pick up some candles and DIY them for gifts this year. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? 
Well, it's going out to Tracy Lynn, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY village stand. Oh my word, Tracy, I am so stinking excited to see that somebody recreated this. Thank you so much for sharing it with us today. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yes, in the description box below. Can you choose a favorite? It's kind of hard. I love all of these, but that s'mores candle is so stinking cute. I made several of them and I'm gifting them this holiday season. Actually, I made a lot of these candles because I picked up several packs of these candles at Costco. The four pack was $19.99, like I said. And so that really does kind of break it down to $5 a candle with a little bit of DIYing. And my oh my, is anybody gonna love to receive any of the candles that I DIY today? I hope you all enjoyed these DIY candle gift ideas. Did I say? It's on a budget. If you're looking for more inspiration for gift giving, make sure to click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I sure as heck am. Bye for now, everybody.